Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I want to remind you on Saturday at 6 p.m. Central European time, we have a live stream. I'm gonna show you my main machine, how I produce video, how I prepare them, how I test them and so on. So I hope to see many of you there. It's gonna be Saturday at 6 p.m. Central European time. Now, in this video, we are going to install Plymouth on Arch Linux and configure it. Plymouth is the process that starts up after Grub. Normally, in Arch Linux, you just see a little text and then when the Display Manager is ready, it's going to appear. So, what Plymouth does is basically create a splash screen for your installation that is going to accompany you until the Display Manager is ready to go. Many distributions today use Plymouth, Ubuntu, Kubuntu and many others as well. And it was actually started with Fedora, I believe, in Fedora version 38. Let's get going! So let's get going here. I have an Arch Linux installation with XFC4 and I want to install Plymouth in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the terminal and let me increase here the size of the window and the fonts. And Plymouth is available from the AUR, so we need to install this using Yay. If you didn't install Yay yet, you might need to install it via Git, and I have a video about that in the channel. So I have already installed Yay, so I can install Plymouth here by typing in Yay-S and then Plymouth. And then we can hit enter. So we need to select the repository. I'm going to select the first one, which is the stable version, and hit enter here by default. Now, I don't want to remove the dependencies for now, so I'll just accept the defaults. Differences to show none and hit enter. And my sudo password. Proceed with installation by hitting enter. And this is going to take a moment to install, so I'll be back when it's done. So the package is installed. Let's clean up the terminal. We need still to do a couple of steps before we can use Plymouth. The first one is we need to change the mkinitzy.io configuration file because we need to put an hook in there. So let's do this by typing in sudo vim slash etsy slash mkinitzy.io.conf and hit enter. We'll move down here to the hook section right down here. And what we need to do here, we need to put in the Plymouth hook after the udev hook. So base udev and then insert here Plymouth and a space. And then we can save this file and exit Vim. And we need to regenerate the image by typing in sudo mkinit cpio p and then Linux because this is the kernel I have and hit enter. And it's going to take a moment here to rebuild the image. And there you go, the image generation was successful. So let's clean up the terminal because we still have to configure grub. So we need to configure grub by opening up the grub file. So we'll type in sudo vim slash etsy slash default slash grub and hit enter. And what we need to do here, we need to go down to the command line and we need to change this line here. We have log level three and quiet, which is fine, but we need to add some options. So let's go at the end of the line here. And I'm going to insert the splash option and also some other options. All these options are found on the Arch Wiki and I'll put the link on the video description below. So the first option after splash is rd.udev.log underscore priority equal three. And we have also vt.global underscore cursor underscore default equal zero. There you go. And then we close the double quotes. Then we can save the file and exit Vim. And we need to regenerate the grub configuration file by typing in sudo grub-mkconfig-o. So the output goes under slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. Any tensor. It's going to take a second to do this. There you go. So the installation of Plymouth is completed, but we need to still select the theme. So let's clean up the terminal. And let's type in sudo plymouth dash set dash default dash theme and then dash l for list the themes available and hit enter. So these are the themes available in the system that we just installed with the package. And the one you definitely want to use if you are on Arch Linux is the SP Infinity because it's going to create a really nice Arch Linux boot logo. So to install this theme, we need to repeat the same command as before, just replacing the last option. So I'll pull up the last command with the app arrow, 
and replace here dash L with dash capital R because we need to regenerate the image with the theme that we select now, which is SP infinity. And then we can hit enter. So again, it's going to take a second to do this. And there you go. Let's clean up the terminal. We still need to perform some steps for the display manager. Right now in this system, I have LightDM installed with a GTK greeter. What we need to do now first is to disable the display manager by typing in sudo systemctl disable LightDM and hit enter. And now we need to re-enable this with the Plymouth option. And we can do this by typing in sudo systemctl enable light dm dash plymouth dot service and hit enter there you go now let's try to reboot our machine and see if the logo appears so we'll type in reboot here and hit enter so here we have our grab boot loader so let's hit enter here And you can see nothing happens. And that's because the machine is too quick to boot up. So let's type in the password and change that setting. Let's open up again our terminal. And again, I go full screen here and increase the font size. And let's type in sudo vim slash etsy slash plymouth slash plymouthd.conf and hit enter. Enter our sudo password. And you can see here what happens is that the show delay is now set to five seconds. Now this machine is quite quick, so I can change this to zero so that the logo displays immediately. So let me do this very quickly. Type in zero in here and save and exit Vim. And we need to regenerate again the configuration file for this Plymouth theme. So we need to type in again sudo mk init cpio dot p and then Linux and hit enter. So again, it's going to take a second to do this. There you go. Let's clean up the terminal and let's try again to reboot the machine. Let's type in reboot and hit enter. And let's put up your grub. And you can see here we have our Plymouth boot theme installed. So let's enter our password and hit enter. Now let me pull up here the browser and I have Firefox installed in here. And let's go and search for Arch Linux Plymouth and hit enter. We'll click the link here because I want to show you something as configuration. And we have some options here that we just did. We disable the display manager and enable the Plymouth version and so on. And we have also some other things here about the theme. So if you want to have a preview of how the theme looks like, there is something here that I cannot show you, unfortunately, on the VM because I tried it out, but the VM freezes for some reason. So you can try it out yourself on your PC here if you're installing on a PC. And that is, if you press Control alt and F6, you'll type in first Plymouth D and then Plymouth Show Splash. You're going to have a preview of what's coming up on the boot screen. And that is if you choose one of the themes available here. So, for example, we chose SP Infinity, and by running this command, you'll see the boot screen just as a preview. Now, after hitting again Control Alt F6, you're going to quit the preview, and then you can go back to the main terminal and install the theme you like. We have also some options here for high DPI, if you have a high DPI display that you might want to change. And we have also some other options here in case you want to use the Arch logo and create your custom theme here. You have the instructions here on the last paragraph. Plymouth comes installed with those nine themes available here. I encourage you to try them out. I really like the SP Infinity because it really suits the Arch Linux installation and that's what I'm using by default. So this is how you can install Plymouth on Arch Linux. And in the next video, we are going to explore also a little bit more how we can configure Grub. So there you go, guys. This is how you can install and configure Plymouth on Arch Linux. It's quite simple to do and it gives a nice touch to your installation, especially because you can customize it the way you want to. Again, I remind you on Saturday 27th June at 6 p.m. Central European time, we have a live stream where I'm going to show you a little bit my studio here, how I prepare the videos, how do I test them and how do I publish them. It's quite a complicated process and I'm sure for many of you will be interesting to see and I'm looking forward to see many of you there. I hope you liked the video guys. If you did, please hit the like button below and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Subs always helps us out. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so by visiting our Patreon website or you can donate via PayPal through our website as well. 
Thank you so much for watching the video guys and I'll see you soon in the next one.